Don't fall in love, don't fall in love, don't fall in love. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Marvel Legends Avengers Infinity War Black Widow. So here we are, and there she is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's right in front. Uh, in the background, we have the big Avengers A, A, Avengers Infinity War Black Widow. On this side of the box, we have Black Widow. On the other side of the box, we have a Black Widow. Up top, we have the Avengers A. Hey, build a figure called Obsidian. I knocked her over. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Don't be mad. I love you. And down here we have words and things and barcodes. On the back of the box we have the rundown of all the figures needed to build Cull Obsidian. And on top here we have Black Widow again. And you have a brief bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. Hooray for languages. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Black Widow as she appeared in Avengers Infinity War. Quite a different look that uh, we're used to seeing here from Black Widow in these movies. Quite a departure. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. I think they actually did a pretty good job with this face sculpt. I think that actually looks like Scarlett Johansson. I think they did a pretty good job here with the face sculpt. Pretty good, pretty good. In my opinion anyway, in my opinion. I think they did a pretty good job. There's nice paintwork there on the eyes. You got the blonde hair going on. And we got the new green suits, or green vest rather. And nicely detailed as you can see. A little holsters there on the sides. The belt is, you know, the soft plastic there. And moving down to her boots. Got the high heel boots on. And moving up to back. The Black Widow booty. And there you go. Now articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. You get your wiggly waggly, wiggly waggly. She can look up a little bit, look down a bit more. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. Can move in and out. Out. Uh, you get rotation right at the elbow joint itself, as well as over 90 degrees of a bend there at the elbow. You do have wrist rotation as well as that joint that allows the hand to move in and out. She does have, is it, uh, is waist rotation? No, it's that, I believe it's that upper, I can't tell because I can't, I can't see in there. But it is that, uh, I believe it is that upper torso joint because she's got the wiggly waggly going on and I just noticed something when I lifted this up oh look you can see a little I did not notice this this isn't, this isn't just the first time I'm noticing this she has a little black widow symbol oh wait this comes off oh wait <laughs> wait sorry I don't we have to disrobe her a little bit I didn't notice that oh look she has a little black widow symbol there there you go ah, ah, ah. okay sorry very ungentlemanly of me just sit here and start ripping her clothes off. Sorry about that. Sorry, I'm a gentleman. I swear I am. I am a gentleman. But what was I talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, you have the uh, torso joint legs. Gonna go forward that far, as you can see. These straps here will move to accommodate the leg movement. So let's move forward that far. Back, only that far. Outward, only that far. You got thigh rotation. You don't want to go too far because you don't want to risk uh, damaging that right there. She does have a double jointed knee, so you have a nice full range of movement there. And the feet, they can move up. And this joint is quite stiff. It can move up. It can uh, move down. And you have, come on, uh, there we go. And you have your ankle tilted so now let's talk about accessories. Uh, she includes uh, these these things. I don't know what these are. I really I have no idea what these are. But they're just cast in black, and I don't know what these are. <laughs> so, I don't know. I I actually watched Infinity War um, last week, and uh, I don't remember seeing her use these things. Wherever they are, are they tasers or something? I don't know. 
Are they just like ammo magazines? They don't look like ammo magazines. I don't. I, I don't know what these are. I do. You guys probably know. I'm sure you all know, and I'm the only one who doesn't know. But I. I don't know. But you can store them right here in the holsters, her legs, and they just store right there. So there you go. She has those things there that you can store, and she can hold them obviously in her hands. Just put them in there like that, and she can do whatever with these. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Uh, anyway, I'm sure I'll get a thousand comments about it now. I know exactly what they are. I don't know. Hey, good for you. But moving along, she does include her two uh, her two beating sticks here, because the widow needs some good beating sticks. Let's see, just cast in black with some silver. And you get two of them. And you can put them in her hands. And she can use them to beat some fools into submission because she is the widow and she can do that. So you have that going on if you want and you also have the option of taking the two and plugging them together just have the one long staff which is also quite cool. Um, you can't store these unfortunately um, in the movie she stores them uh, she stores them on her back she has them like crossed on her back, but there's no way to actually store them on the figure itself, unfortunately. But hey, you can still have her holding them. Have her holding her beaten sticks. And this thing fell out. Whatever it is. <laughs> Put that back in there. So. There you have that. And the last accessory for Widow here is an optional pair of hands. The hands that are on her right now are the weapon holding hands, but she does come with a pair of a closed fist. So you can use those if you want. And as always, the hands are very easy to swap out. Just pop out the old and in with the new. And there you go. Easy peasy, lemon and squeezy. So there you have that. And for comparison, here she is with her wave mate, Thor. So you can see how those two look side by side. Here she is with the Iron Man and the Spider-Man. And here she is with Cap and her BFF Ronin, aka Hawkeye. And lastly, just because, here she is with her, uh, her not BFF, Proxima Midnight. So, there you go. And the last thing to talk about is the included build-a-figure part. So Black Widow comes with the main body here of Cull Obsidian. And it looks quite, quite good in my opinion. Some nice molding, some nice paintwork also. Looks quite, quite good. As far as I'm concerned anyway, it looks quite nice. Um, this section here looks, you know, a bit plain, but everything else looks very, very nice. Very cool, I got big shoulder armor here. So, now we have two pieces here of Call Obsidian, and we can actually put an arm on at least. So we can pop this in, boom, there you go. We have a body, we have an arm. There you go. We're on our, we're on our, hey! Hey, be a gentleman. Hey, hey, you know what, just, 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 there you go. No, come on, maybe, come, come on, can we get you just kind of leaning over something, anything, there you go. <laughs> There you go. Progress! Yay! So there you have a Black Widow. Um, nicely done figure. Um, I think it's a really good face sculpt. I think they did a really good job there. And overall, a good quality, playable action figure. So, there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Marvel Legends toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. I will put a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Marvel Legends playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. Don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Marvel Legends Avengers Infinity War Black Widow. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. So I think the best course of attack would be... Hey!
Whoa, kid, kid, kid. She has lethal combat skills. You can't just sneak up on her like that. <laughs> wow, you got him right in the throat. That's, that's going to sting for a while.